Good morning. This is Life's Dream, Life's Stream, Live Stream, Extremely Funny, number 33. Okay, where is he? <laughs> All right, Corky. <laughs> Yoo hoo! song. First time I'm doing it in, let's see, since 70, probably since 1979. It's a sing-along, I'm going to teach you the words, okay? La 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 no no. So it's la la, it's la 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 no no. So la 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 no no. La 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 no no. And then La la la, no 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 no. Then la la no no la la no no. One more time, everybody. La 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 no 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 no. La 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 no 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 no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no. And here's how it goes. La 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 no no. 
la 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no you got it one more time la 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 no no la 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no so I hope you know by the title extremely funny that you were in gag and we're going to have some silliness today who us yeah us okay <laughs> la 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 no la 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no okay i think you got it good luck is all i have to say you don't need it's a reminder to turn off the air conditioner <laughs> This is written by my friend Danny Glicken, Gene Barish, and myself. <laughs> little green spots, little red spots, little blue spots on me floor. I call me doctor and me doctor say, Mom, you ain't got no floor, you got the linoleum. Everyone, la 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 no la 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 no 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 la la no la la no no la no Well, it comes in a row and you tack it down, but the corners fly up off the floor. You stand on the corners till you have to go out, then it's back into a row once more. La 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 no no la 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no la no Well, I buy contact lenses because I want to be a sharp guy, but they pop out of me eye, man. I go to the spot where I think the lens drop, then I hear a little crunch. I'm a linoleum. La 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 no no la la no 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 la la no no la la no no la no la no Well, my bossy come over, he don't give me no raise. My best girl, she walk out the door. I ask them both why, they say you got no class, ma. All you got's that linoleum. La 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 no no la 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no la no linoleum. Well now I am a bigger gay star. I have a big house. I'm not so dumb. My head's in the clouds, but it don't get too big. Cause my feet, I got. On the linoleum. La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no la no La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no la no Everybody sing. La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no la no La 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 no no. La 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 no no.
right. <laughs> I'm tapping my harmonica, Joe. Getting the water out of it. Otherwise, I'd have to send it to you. Okay. Story time. Uh oh. Story time. Story time. Okay. Welcome, I hope everyone. Holly's, say hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hope everyone is having a relaxing time. Thank you for coming into our our little office. Say hello to Milan Date from India. Hey, brilliant. Oh, I just went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Speaking of pipe. Malin really plays some amazing pipe. The flute. Yes, he does. <coughs> Indian flute. Just He's brilliant. one of the best. <coughs> and when we played in, was it Bombay? Correct. Mumbai. Mumbai. Uh, he came to the concert. That was really nice. It was fantastic. Great to see you. We've been good buddies. <coughs> oh. <coughs> anyway. There's a fellow named Max, Max Gale. And Max Gale was on a show called Barney Miller. Do you remember uh, how the name, what he played? He played... Wojowski. Wojowski? Yes, Officer yeah, he was Wojo. The, officer with the, with the little... Um, cute ears. Cute ears, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we became really, really, really close friends. So at some point, I'm going to invite him to do one of these live streams. You know, we did it with David Amram, and then I re realized David Amram was close friends with Max. I didn't even know that. Going many back many, many years. Yes, we all go back many years. <clears throat> so Speak for yourself. Today, I'm going to sort of introduce you to Max, who is a poet, an actor, of course, a singer, a songwriter, a musician, just, just an, an, an incredible, credible, credible guy. So, at one time, Dr. L. Subramaniam, the great violinist from India told Holly and I this joke that has been our favorite joke which we told a few streams ago. Max told us our other favorite joke and there's something about the person that tells you the joke that makes the joke be very very special. So Holly and I have two special jokes we're going to tell you the second one, since the name of the stream is extremely funny. This is a beautiful joke. It's totally our okay. So, there was this fellow driving along. And by the way, you may have heard this joke before, but not exactly this way. Okay. So, and not from Max Scale. <clears throat> so, you're driving along and there's a sign. It says, talking dog for sale. So the fella gets really interested and he goes to the, 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 the farmer and he says, hey, what's this about a talking dog? And the farmer says, well, go in the back. He's in the backyard. So he goes in the backyard and he sees the dog and he says, hey, I understand you could talk. And the dog goes, yep. And the guy says, well, how did that happen? And the dog said, well, when I was a little puppy, I used to hear people having conversations. I was intrigued. I was mesmerized, captivated. And I thought to myself, you know what? I bet I can do that. So I studied really hard, practiced a lot. Eventually, I got, I, I must say, if I do say so myself, I achieved, acquired, quite the sophisticated vocabulary. Sophisticated vocabulary, and somehow the CIA found out about me. <laughs> they hired me to be a spy. I traveled around the world. Here I am sitting in castles and mansions being scratched behind the ear by heads of state, sharing their secrets. 
I live the life of romance. Adventure, excitement, intrigue, romance. And then, to make a long story short, I just got tired of it, and I came here and retired in my backyard. So the fellow was like blown away, and he went to the farmer and said, how much for that dog? The farmer said, ten dollars. Ten dollars for that dog? The farmer said, yeah, he's a liar. He's never been out of the yard. <laughs> What more can I say? <laughs> so, to me, let, allow the laughter to happen. Okay, so, the beautiful thing about this joke, and, and the thing I love about a lot of my favorite jokes is, there's more to than just the joke. It's like, the reason it's so funny is because it is our condition of human life. We're sitting on a pile of gold and looking for the gold. You know what I mean? You know, like philosophically, human life itself is the gold. So, you know, that's, but in this situation we're in right now is interesting because I do get calls from presenters who are, who would like to find ways of doing a live concert right now. And you know, so maybe we go up on stage and we're separated by plexiglass and we're 12 feet apart and there's plexiglass in front of us and then there's a 300 seat auditorium which people have to sit 10 feet apart all wearing masks. That means you could get 30 people in a 300 seat auditorium and still you have to work up. And I'm going, we might be sitting on a gold mine right here. So as Holly says, Mother Nature sent us to our rooms. They wanted us to contemplate. So I explained to our presenters, I said, for artists and arts presenters, why are we twisting ourselves into pretzels, trying to recreate something that's already existed for 200 years, when we have a big, beautiful, blank canvas right here to be creative? Anyway, so that, that's the thing about the story. We're sitting here on a gold mine and we're fighting to come up with recreating something that already existed. Anyway, that's, that's my joke. <laughs> so is anyone here for a... Anyone out there have a birthday today? No one's saying anything. No birthdays today. Yesterday? No. A few days ago? <laughs> Don't have any. No comments. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do another song. And we could talk some more. Oh, Bonnie has one seven fifteen. And what's the date today? Today is the... Oh, gosh, that's a good question, isn't it? I think it's the 12th. Okay, well, we'll, we'll I'll do another song. We'll see if anyone has a birthday that's closer. The closest birthday... Oh, Frank's driver's birthday was July 5th. Well, okay, so mm, that's... Close enough. Close enough. Well, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll do another song. <clears throat> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that joke. <laughs> If you didn't enjoy it, you're not my friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's his favorite joke. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so th this song, I stopped singing a lot. I stopped. So, I'll tell you. so there's a lot of birthdays. Are oh, there are coming up. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to write down the names. Okay. Okay. So um, this. Uh, what can I say? I stopped doing this song and uh, when did I stop doing? 2001? Something like that. Yeah, 2000. Uh, maybe sooner. There were other reasons for me not to do it. You know, sometimes protest songs, they come true. And when they come true, you got to sort of stop doing them. 
at that point for a while. So this one came true in some sense. And it's come true again for like the third time. So maybe it's time I pull this one out. This was WFMT, Ray Nordstrand, who founded WFMT. It was his favorite song. And people loved it. And, and it's called Skyscrapers. And the, and the chorus is another single one. <laughs> Skyscrapers scraping the stars from the sky. Pokey the man in the eye pointing to where we're going to end up up in God's head if we have any luck and people would get up on stage and they'd go skyscrapers <laughs> scraping the stars from the sky poking the man in the in the eye. I didn't make that up. <laughs> Pointing to where... Choreography. Where, another birthday? Choreography. Oh, yeah, choreography. <laughs> Going to end up up in God's heaven if we have any luck. So they would do this choreography to the song. It became, I think, one of my most requested songs. <sighs> sort of like uh, Dave Van Rock's Goombaya. <laughs> Skyscrapers scraping the stars from the sky, poking the man in the moon in the eye, pointing to where we're going to end up, up in God's heaven, if we have any luck. The skyline keeps changing day by day across from the ocean on Frisco Bay from the landmarks of beauty to a modern eyesore there just ain't no room left but they're still building more oh skyscrapers scraping the stars from the sky poking Get the urge for jumping. Scared out of my pants, my heart 
it starts a drumming. It tells me to leave here or hide in a vault. When Frisco starts a singing, be their own fault. Old skyscrapers scraping the stars from the sky. So the song was written about the relationship between greedy manifestations and concern and respect for the sanctity of human life. Though it was a protest song. Here we are. <laughs> so I, I, I want. Uh, so I just wrote something the other day, really quickly, that explained that wearing a mask simply because it very well might save people's lives is respect and honor for the sanctity of human life over other considerations that might be rational, but not balanced. Anyway, when I say things like this, I don't want anyone to think that I'm teaching something or trying to say something that people don't already know. I get really philosophical about things like this, but in my mind, all I'm doing is saying, hey, here's an interesting perspective of something you already know. Here's a nice talking point that could be a talking point if we work on it a little bit. So I'm not trying to tell anybody anything. I'm just sharing creative concepts. Okay, I just wanted to clear that up. Okay, now, I think, are we finished? Oh no, birthday. Birthday, a lot of birthdays. Have, do we have a winner? Uh, Peter. Peter? Peter Driver. Peter Driver? Yeah. He's the closest? Yeah, oh, and Neil uh, Tuber. Neil and Peter. I better write this down. Neil and Peter. I can tell you. Okay, Neil and Peter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Neil and Peter. Okay, let me get... I have a surprise for you guys. Oh, it's getting late. Okay, I'll turn you. Show the... Show the, um, the your drawing. Oh, so... Uh, this is... This, this is a drawing that... Uh, that I did uh, that goes with... The birthday. <laughs> a song we're working on. Birthday song. Yes. We're gonna write a. We're gonna write a, a a digital birthday card. We're gonna write a digital birthday card. Put it up on the website, and people, and and each one will be personalized. You know how they're doing that now. So we're thinking of doing that, and we wrote a song, like two days ago. And we're starting to put this digital thing together. And it's for Peter and Neil, right? Peter and Neil. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. I may have to try this a couple times. <laughs> Peter and Neil, a happy birthday. Fire Marshal knows about the candles on your cake. The hook and ladder is speeding on its way. With giant water hoses at the ready, Smokey Bear says only you can save the day. Peter and Neil have a happy birthday. So make your wish and please do blow out those candles. And we'll sing happy birthday right on key. And we'll slice the cake for all your friends in many, many pieces. And I hope 
You'll save a piece for me. Peter and Neil, have a happy birthday. And hear this message from your caring group. I'm glad your cake is still a happy birthday cake. Not a slurpy happy birthday soon. Happy birthday, Neil and Peter. That's how it's going to work. <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> Woo!